Jesus loves you and loves us, and that's it. Amen. First and foremost, I'd like to give this opportunity to the Heavenly Father for the blessing and glory you've bestowed upon us today. I would just like to share with you guys the bridge of life. The bridge of life, life's illustration. Have you ever felt like the only love you guys will receive is from your parents, your siblings, or your friends? Or if you're older in high school, you know, you kind of go towards dating and stuff like that. And you think, oh, this is the only love I'm going to get. But I'm here to tell you guys, that's not it. There's a bigger love out there that's everlasting. And that love, is God's love. It tells us in Jeremiah 13 that God loves us and that his love is everlasting. Yeah. And from that love, nothing in this world, no army, no weapons, nothing in this world can separate us from that love. It tells us in Romans 8, 38, 39, the very last says, no power, nor height, or anything created can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And why would God love us? Because God is love. It tells us in 1 John 4, chapter 8, it says, he who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Yeah. With that love, God has a great plan for you, just as he has a plan for me. His plan is to give us life and to have that life greater than anything. John 10, 10, towards the ending, it says, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. From that love, God has created us in his own image. Yep. To have fellowship with him, it tells us in Genesis 1, 27, that God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created male and female. Even though we are God's creation, he has the right to fully control us like a robot or a puppet, but he didn't. He gave us the freedom of choice to follow him according to his will or do what pleases us. And that's the problem we face through the beginning of time until now. Yeah. We have turned ourselves away from God, giving ourselves the pleasure of life. But on the other hand, God is standing there with the everlasting life that you and I are supposed to have. That's man's problem today. We turn ourselves away from God, giving ourselves the pleasure of life. But on the other hand, God is standing there with the everlasting life. When God gave us the freedom to choose whether we obey those commandments, we turn our backs away from God and we chose to sin. Isaiah 53, 6 says, we are like sheep have gone astray. We turn everyone to his own way and the iniquities of us all and the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of us all. Because of our choice to sin, he has separated us, man, from God. On one side stays sin. On one side stays sin. And on the other side stays God with the holiness and everlasting life. In between God and man is a big separation created by our own sins. Does anybody know how we are all the same. In the Bible, it tells us, Romans 3, 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We're all the same through sin. In the Bible, it tells us that the price to pay for our sins is death. And when death comes for us, we're going to be facing judgment and eternal death. Romans 6, 23 says, for the wages of sin is death, but the everlasting life is gift, but the gift is everlasting life with Christ. God's response to man's problem is, even though we sin, you and I still have a chance to turn back to God. 
Some people might take that as doing good works by coming to church on Sunday, throwing in for the, um, the uh, gifts for God, stuff like that. You know, good deeds that people think that, they, that it will help them get to heaven. But I'm here to tell you now, all those good deeds won't get you to heaven. We, we will need someone they will need someone else to come and give them their salvation Ephesians 2 verse 8 and 9 says for, for by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves it is the gift of God when Jesus Christ went to the cross he did that in exchange for our sins <clears throat> He paid the ultimate price for you and I to be forgiven. Romans 5 verse 8 says, God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Yes, I tell you, Jesus is the only way to Christ. Yes. And it tells us in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. For us, to be born again, we have to pray and really repent for our sins. It tells us in John, John first, chapter 12, but as many as received him, to them he gave them the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Another strong point comes from John 5, 24, which also says, he who hears my words and believes in him who has sent me, has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. If we want to accept Jesus Christ, there are three major things we have to do. One, we have to know that we're sinners. Two, we have to repent for our sins. And three, you give it all to God, because God is the only way who's going to help us in life. And once you know that, there's also another question, is where, where in your life are you at? Are you still standing with everlasting death and sin? Or are you standing with God in everlasting life? That's the question I leave with you guys today, is where do you guys stand? <clears throat> are you still standing on the earthly side with sin? Or are you still, are you standing with God in everlasting life? If you say you don't know, that's okay, no pressure. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. There's a time and a day that we're all going to not be here. Yeah. And when that day comes, you guys gotta be ready. That's the only way to know if you're going to heaven. Have faith and trust in the Lord. And with that, I leave it with you guys that question. And just always to remind you guys, you know, every day is a new day to give your life to God. Renew your life to God. God always forgives and he always forgets. That's all that I have to share with you guys today. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, Father God, for your time on